Restore us, O oh God. Let your face shine on us that we may be saved. Well, this month we've been looking at Psalm chapter 80. And I told you a little bit about how the Israelites had disobeyed God and gone into slavery in Babylon. And the king of Babylon was a nasty piece of work and he really treated the Israelites harshly as Aaron and Beth said last week. And last week Aaron and Beth told us how crazy it is that the Israelites were asking God to bless them, that they were saying, please restore us, bless us again, and crying out to God. Well, God listens to the people who cry out to him. God loves his people. And he responded. He brought them back to the land that he'd promised them. They had a chance to rebuild the temple. We can read about that in the book of Ezra and the book of Nehemiah. But here we read three times in Psalm 80 that the Israelites are crying out to God, restore us, bless us, restore us, bring us back to the place that you promised us. We want to serve you again. We want to be your people again. And this is the ultimate promise that we have in the Bible. In the prophets, God promises through his prophets that he will take the people who have denied him and once again make them into his people. And we see that in Jesus. We see what he has done for us on the cross, dying for our sins, defeating death and sin by the resurrection, and then sending us the Holy Spirit after he ascends back into heaven. And then, when Jesus comes again, as he's promised in the Bible, he will restore all things to the way that God has planned for them to be. That's the most exciting news. This is the good news. This is grace that an undeserving people, you would think it's crazy that we're asking God to bless us. But God blesses us anyway, because he loves us and he sent his son to give us that love and share his grace with us on the cross through the resurrection by the Holy Spirit that we receive when we trust in Jesus, we have God's grace. Over to you, Rachel. Restore us, O 